Ed Parnell didn't have to walk far from San Diego Scripps Pier to find strands of giant kelp washed up on the beach. The root system is called the holdfast that holds the kelp plant to the bottom. Right there you can see that. They really aren't roots. The Scripps Institution of Oceanography biologist says that's how the algae stays anchored to the ocean floor. Basically it puts out these stipes and each individual stipe puts out these blades that then make it up to the surface for it to photosynthesize. Small gas-filled bubbles carry the long stems to the surface where the blades can soak up the sunshine. Parnell says giant kelp can grow up to two feet a day, making it one of the fastest growing living things on the planet. The canopy depends on how much bottom, hard bottom, is located at depth. Here off San Diego, we have the two largest kelp forests off the west coast because we have hard bottom that the kelp can attach to. Um, in, over large areas. Underwater, the giant kelp forests off the coast of La Jolla and Point Loma can be spectacular. Biologists have compared them to an underwater forest of sequoias, but unlike the giant trees, kelp grows fast and dies fast. These young kelp that were videotaped just off the shores of San Diego are already reaching skyward in the cool Pacific Ocean. Plants can quickly reach lengths of 100 feet, but their lifespan is pretty short in this vital but delicate ecosystem. Parnell says the kelp provide food and habitat. The bottom hosts a lot of habitat for species that live in the kelp forest over their entire lifetime. Parnell says giant kelp in San Diego is under siege. Storms and sea urchins have taken a toll, but the potentially more devastating issue is heat. That's on full display at the end of Scripps Pier, where Sean Bruce was one of many people who performed a daily ritual. So this is one of the longest data sets, uh, ongoing data sets in, in history. He's taking temperature readings of the ocean, and those daily temperature readings show that the ocean has been warming here since the mid-1970s. Temperatures hit a sustained peak in 2015 and 2016, and then set records just two years later. The heat is devastating for the fast-growing kelp. Parnell shared a video of a rocky, barren seabed near La Jolla that has yet to recover from those heat waves. It's a rocky area that should be full of kelp. And the problem is not limited to Southern California. Australia, Tasmania, um, especially up in New England, um, also in Europe, and so it's a phenomenon <clears throat> that is affecting these ecosystems uh, in both northern and southern hemispheres. Mark Carr studies evolutionary biology at UC Santa Cruz. As the water temperature increased along the coastline, um, one of the consequences that warm water temperature has is it reduces the nutrient availability um, to the algae in shallower waters. And you see this, for example, down in Southern California, when we have these El Nino events um, and, the, and the surface waters warm up, you'll notice how the kelp forests tend to die back. Southern California kelp are not yet at the point where they're struggling to survive, but the iconic underwater habitat is at risk. Climate science predicts oceans will continue to warm and data confirms that the trend has been underway for some time. The concern is whether we're now going to start to experience more and more of these heat waves over time and whether they become more intense. Scripps researcher Ed Parnell says the iconic kelp may already be in trouble and that could have a dramatic impact on the region's nearshore habitat. They host you know, hundreds of species themselves and are the, provide, they provide shelter, habitat, and food for many, many species. So if the kelp forest itself goes away, the kelps, then a lot of those species are going to be either a, you know, less abundant or the food structure of that whole community is going to change. And losing the kelp forest will make the ocean a little less appealing to humans who dive in the underwater forests. That will remove a small slice of the state's coastal tourism economy. Eric Anderson, KPBS News.